No, when I drove Bill's car at, at Dover, um, his dad passed away, and he didn't learn about it until, I think he was actually at the track and, and flew out of there, so he learned about it right when I got there. And um, uh, Mike Beam, I believe, just walked down to the, the bush garage and asked me to do it. Yeah, I didn't feel any pressure at all. I, um, at the time, you know, I was driving for Robbie, um, but I also had a contract with, with Roush at the same time to eventually race for them. So I really just needed to get it approved so they were fine with me doing it, um, which, of course, they were. So I was more just anxious for somebody to tell me, yeah, that sounds great, go do it. It's not going to take away from what we're doing here or whatever. So uh, really just took a matter of five or ten minutes. It wasn't long before um, Bush Series practice was getting ready to start, um, you know, when they came over. So by the time we got started, we knew that we were going to do it. I didn't have any expectations, so that's really hard to say. I mean, I, I, I guess, um, I mean, I guess the easy answer would be yes. But, but I, honestly, I didn't, um, I didn't know whether to expect to win or finish last. I mean, I, obviously, I didn't expect to win, but you know what I mean. I just didn't, I didn't have any time to think about it. And uh, practices, you know, the way the schedules were then is just, you know. You know, as soon as Bush Series practice is five minutes, and then there's Cup Series practice, and there's five minutes, and there's Bush Series practice, and then there's qualifying, and then there's Bush Series. You know, it's just like everything just happened really fast. So um, that's part of, I think, what made the weekend really fun is I never really got a chance to to think about it or feel any pressure. And and at the time, it was it was one of my best tracks, even though I've only been there a couple of times. We uh, um, we won the Bush Race the next day, um, so I, I had a lot of confidence, and that was still still when we practiced after the Bush Race. So you know, I just got done winning the race and got in the car and tried a bunch of things that we were doing in our in our in our bush car at the time and um you know so it was just um you know I had a lot of confidence at the time and it wasn't a, a, an opportunity that I was, I was expecting or had time to think about it or feel pressure or anything like that <laughs> well I mean the best line of the night for sure is Herschel saying that um his list isn't really that long of people to think because they're all dead I mean I don't know how you get, I mean how do you top that that was awesome I mean seriously I mean that was that was a pretty cool line for a speech. I mean, right? No? Everybody's looking at me like that's not morbid of me saying that, is it? I'm, I'm just saying like it was a it was a funny line because that's how old he is, right? And I mean, it's just he's been around for a long time. So I got a, I, I get a kick out of all of it because um, I don't know like a ton about Herschel before the last six months. Like, I, I mean, I, I heard of him and I knew of him, but I mean, he's been doing it for so long. Like when I started racing and I wasn't around the West, you know, and any of that, so, um, I mean, I knew he's a legend, and he, you know, raced forever, or whatever, but I can't believe that he's 95 years old, you know, he's uh, uh, sharp as a tack, and he's got a great wit, and a great personality, just a little bit, I got to talk to him the last few days, and um, it's been very, uh, very enjoyable, so, and I liked hearing Kirk's story, too, I mean, it's fun for me to hear some of that, you know, I'm not quite as much of a, you know, history buff on the sport, or know as much about the history as, like, Dale Jr. or something, so it's kind of fun for me to learn more about it, yeah, I mean, it's like, yeah, you're right, I mean, it's kind of the the end of it, and I've, I've been thinking about that for months and months and months, right? Like, this is kind of your last, even though I didn't, didn't do anything, <laughs> you know, to, to get here the last two years, but just, just, you know, it's kind of your, you know, last speech you're going to give, last time you're going to be in the media center with you guys, feeling like you're in a media center after you want to race for something. So, yeah, I mean, it's, you know, uh, obviously I've been ready for a while to not be doing it all the time, but, yeah, there is a, some finality to it, and, um, you know, it was fun. It was emotional, but it was fun to hear all the stories all weekend. Uh, even to spend all the time, you know, thinking of the stories and, you know, writing my novel that I had to cut cut way down into a somewhat reasonable speech and think about all the different people and some people that people never heard of and um, just some different stories and stuff. So it's been um, it's been fun. Um, I think Kirk kind of touched on his speech, but you never really. You know, you don't spend, I spent zero time looking in the mirror when I was racing. Like, I just always was looking forward and, you know, trying to do better. I mean, yeah, you had to learn from mistakes and stuff, but you're always looking forward. So I thought, you know, Kirk made a really good good point on that. And, um, you know, when you're done with your career and you get ready to go in here, I mean, it's all you've been doing is looking back for a year and kind of remembering stuff and thinking about things and um, doing all that. I just think they don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> but, I mean, really, I mean, I, I honestly, like, you know, when the whole thing first came up and the ballot and all the people on and stuff, like, I looked down at it, I'm like, I'm, he's more worthy, he's more worthy, he's more Like, I just, I mean, that's how I honestly honestly feel. So it's just um, um, it's just a tremendous honor, um, you know, and a, and, a, and a privilege to be, you know, voted in here and, and be part of this group. Um, the time goes by so incredibly fast. Um, I've never really felt like I was uh, – 
one of the best or whatever end up in a Hall of Fame or anything like that. You know, I just I was very fortunate to drive for great people and have great people working for them and uh, drive great race cars, you know. So, um, like, like I said before, the fastest race car wins wins races way more than the best driver does, and I had the fastest race car, um, you know, a lot, of, a lot of different times, and a lot of those times I couldn't even figure out how to win with it. So uh, just, uh, I just feel really blessed. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I thought people that lived, you know, around Davidson were really pleasant and friendly and neighborly, but I found that not to be true that day. Um, was there another question in there, Lee? Don't ever say hi to her on the street, by the way. She will just give you daggers and keep going. I was like, man. Made her mad. Um, how am I spending my time? Mostly uh, with Katie and the kids. Um, it's 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 fairly busy. Uh, we do enjoy um, you know vacationing and seeing different different things. Um, the last two summers we went on month long road trips out west and we saw a bunch of different parks and all kinds of different stuff. So um, the kids are busy with sports and school and all that. So um, that's been most of it. Last year I ran um, you know I ran the Boston Marathon and the London Marathon. Traveled over there for a while. So there's a lot of training, a lot of that involved. That was um, that was really fun. But you know, as far as um, besides the family life stuff, um, at the moment, I don't really have a lot on the agenda. That's really a tough one to answer because everything's everything's different. You know, the couple, which I mentioned before too, but it was interesting, you know, going from from Roush to Gibbs because. You know, there's there were just kind of opposites. You know, the owners were opposites. Um, even though Robbie wasn't my crew chief, my last several years at at Roush, you know, him and Jason are, were very opposite in pretty much everything they did. And and um, it was it was interesting because we ran well at both places. You know, and it was just um, different approaches and stuff. So that was that was fun for me because it was fun to learn kind of something different and how people do things differently and and all that kind of stuff. But um, you know, I, I don't know. That's a tough question to answer. I mean, I think from the time you start driving until um, pretty late in your career, I feel like you're always always learning and you're always growing and you're always adapting. You know, if you're not, you're gonna, um, you know, you're you're just gonna drop out. You know, you gotta everything everything changes all the time. So I feel like you gotta continue, you know, to grow and adapt. Yeah, I mean, I didn't uh, I didn't call anybody. Um, I was. Uh, it was uh, nobody called me and told me it's a streaming event. I found out the same as everybody else did. I think it was streaming on NASCAR.com. So um, Katie actually had it set up on her phone in the kitchen, and I was in there um, pretending like I didn't care, and I was making a sandwich, but I was kind of listening. And then I kind of went and watched when they finally made the announcement. So that was kind of how I found out. So um, like I, like I said, kind of. I mean, I know I know the numbers and the stats are good, you know, pretty good, but. You know, it still just doesn't, it doesn't, none of it, know, it sounds kind of dumb, but none of it really seems real. You know, it goes by really quick. I don't, I just feel like there's so many people that are more deserving than I am. That's just how I feel. I know it's not how the voters felt and everything, you know, but um, when I look at that, I'm just kind of humbled to be in that group. Who would ever thought that I'd be in here with the other, however many people are in the Hall of Fame right now, whatever it is, 60 or 7, whatever it is. Um, I would have never, ever dreamed that somebody would have put me in that same group you know when you race on a weekly basis it's different yeah you may win or you may have a great day you may have a bad day whatever and people can talk about you in the same context as other people but when they actually sit down and put you in a hall of fame with all those people i mean that's pretty uh, pretty pretty crazy <laughs> no no i wasn't near that smart um no i i you know we ran them down and i don't remember how many laps were ago there was a few laps ago and i got under them and i got off at two and 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 kind of, uh, I don't know how to put it, lost track of where I was and kind of hit him in the door a little bit, just in a straightaway. I mean, it didn't hurt anything, but with a rubber mark on the car, I was like, ah, oh, I've kind of messed that up. And then, honestly, coming to the white, um, or maybe the lap before coming to the white, I got, you know, picked by a lap car going into three because uh, we were lapping cars pretty fast, and I, I was under him, and we got to a lap car, and I had to slow up and get behind him, and I didn't think we were going to get a run on him again, so I was I was as surprised as anybody else. I was When we took the white, I was pretty resigned to being second, so... You know, we made it through one and two, and I got close to him. And uh, the thing about Rockingham, which is a feeling you just I, I never forget, it's it's a little bit like Atlanta three and four, but it's 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 a little different. But if you grab the line getting into three, the car kind of does a, a quick turn, and then the way the motors were and all the stuff, if you got the car hooked to that line, you could just floor it. And if you miss that line, the car would kind of come out of the track and it kind of wave through the bumps, and you'd kind of not have as much grip. And I I still remember the feeling getting in that corner, and I hit the mark just right, and the car started to hitch and point the nose the, the, to the left which was the right way and um, I was able to just mat the gas and he was wasn't able to get the gas down as soon and the momentum just brought me to him so 
it was fun racing in those those days. There was just um, you really didn't have that arrow push. If you were faster, you're going to get there and get around people. It actually moved the people out of your way, you know, with the air more so than being the other way around. And um, it was it was fun because you could race the racetrack and you know you didn't stress about it. if you lost a couple spots. If you were better, you could get it back at the end of the run. So it was, it was fun racing.